What's going on everybody? Today we're talking about how do you charge a 36 volt lithium battery? This is a newer thing that people have been doing. Lots and lots of people are familiar with three 12 volt batteries to make 36. And the new wave of battery installations is really leaning towards 36 volt batteries. If you're struggling with, should you buy 12 volt or 36 volt? I have a video up here that will help you much more than this one to help make that decision. This video is assuming you've already decided 36 volt batteries in your future and you need to charge it. Now, the first question I always get is, can I use my current three bank charger to charge a 36 volt battery? Unfortunately, you cannot. Each one of those legs is 12 volts, but they don't add up like that, like you would a battery to get 36. So unfortunately, you are gonna need some new hardware on your boat, and I have two options I'm gonna talk you through. Option number one is a dedicated 36 volt lithium charger. This one is dead. It says kind of works on it because sporadically it works. And unfortunately that's not really good when you have it on your boat. So this one is dead and it's a no name charger. I don't even know what it is. It says made in China, it's 15 amps, LIFE PO4, 12 cells. Anyway, this is a 15 amp charger. That is fast for a lithium charger. That means it would charge a 60 amp hour, 36 volt battery in four hours. 15 times four, 60. Yeah. So when you look at a charger, you wanna pay attention to the charge rate and the voltage. Your target voltage is gonna be 43.8, as you can see right here, 43.8. That's the charging voltage you need for a quote 36 volt lithium battery. That's what you need to pay attention to when you're looking at the right charger. The next number is gonna be the charge rate, 5, 10, 15, 20 amps. Really, you, 10 amps is about right, 12 amps is fine, 15 amps is a lot. This is a 15 amp. Um, that's, a, that's a super fast charge rate. You really don't need any more than that whatsoever for a boat application. You usually have a, a few hours of turnaround time for sure before you go fishing again, or at least I do. Fortunately, I don't get to fish every day. That said, that's option number one, dedicated charger. It's gotta live somewhere on your boat. It has dedicated ring terminals for your charger to go to your uh, battery and you plug it in separately. Now you may say, I only have one plug in on my boat. What am I going to do? This one I ran just like a Christmas tree T, like a 12, 110 volt T. And I was able to run two into the one plug. So I only had one extension cord going to my boat. But that's option number one. Option two is a whole lot better. My boat is set up with two batteries that run the entire boat. I have the dual purpose lead time, 140 amp hour battery, it runs my Mercury outboard, all of my electronics and all my house accessories, my live bulb pumps, nav lights, all that stuff. That's battery number one. Battery number two is a 36 volt, 50 or 60 amp hour battery, depending on what I'm messing with. So two batteries on the boat and this charger will charge both of those. So that's super nice. So I'm gonna go from two chargers on my boat down to just one. Now you may have a couple different setups and you may want two of these, and let me talk you through that. So let's just say you're a super tournament angler and your boat is set up with a, like an, maybe you're a Yamaha guy or something, and you run an AGM cranking battery, a dedicated 12 volt electronics battery, then you have a two 36 volt trolling motor batteries. That's a pretty typical setup for a serious tournament angler. That means you can just run two of these and charge all of those components. You put one bank on one trolling motor battery, the other bank on the other charger, and then you've got two 12 volt circuits on that as well. Theoretically, you can run two of these to charge four different batteries, two different voltages, which is pretty nice. That's probably a little confusing. Let's go ahead and get this thing open. I actually showed up from lead time a while ago and I have not been able to get it on the boat yet. So we're gonna do a quick unboxing because I gotta get this thing on my boat. It's been a thousand degrees, so I've not had any time to do it. High level specs, 43.8 amps. 43.8 volts, 10 amps, and then a 14.6 volt, 10 amps. So this will do both a 12 volt and a 36 volt battery. And it will do a couple different flavors of battery as well. So what's nice is we've got the one single footprint on the boat for charging batteries. Super pumped about that. Now this one does have, let's see if I'm doing this right. Yep, it's got a button on it. And the button says LFP, that's your LIFEPO4, NCM or nickel cobalt manganese or, or NMC. So you can run that for an NMC battery and then lead acid or AGM. So you can run a 36 volt trolling motor battery 
and an AGM cranking battery or some other chemistry on that, which is super nice. It has a total output of 584 amps, watts, and I'm just mixing up my units today. 584 watts, it is waterproof. I kind of eyeball that a little bit. So you've got just these end caps are open and this has got a nice little heat sink on it. This thing is beefy. It's beefy, I like it. Okay, uh, what do we have here? IP65 rated, it gets hot. Don't touch it when it's hot. And then uh, what do we say over here? So we have a light somewhere. So the lights will be showing up here. I think uh, we'll plug it in here in just a second. Uh, red is charging, green is fully charged, slow fast is standby, red, green, slow fast, charging stopped manually, red, green, rapid flash, inset or protection mode. Okay, whatever that means. Now we have one leg marked appropriately, 12 volts. The other leg marked appropriately, 13, 36 volts, 15 amp uh, fuse in there. And these are M8. Got my handy dandy calipers here to double check that. Yep, eight millimeter terminals. So eight millimeter terminals will run any of the, uh, the lithium batteries that you're gonna find today, unless it's a really small one, sometimes they're M6s. Okay, so nice long leads. Let's just eyeball this with how long these leads are, because sometimes that matters with how far your charger is away. Here we go, calibrated test here, about six feet, six and a half feet, something like that. Probably just got my mic all messed up. But uh, nice, nice, nice setup. Super excited to run this. Let's go ahead and plug it in on this 12 volt battery here and just go ahead and boot it up because we're here. Okay, I actually had to walk away for a second and it did start charging all by its own. So what it does is once you plug it in, you kind of set your setting with the button and then just give it a minute and it's gonna do its thing. Um, I do have it in the app here somewhere. Here we go. Then you connect to the battery. We are at 86% as charging at 9.7 amps. I don't know if you can see that and get my head out of here. Can you see that? Nope, you can't see it. Anyway, I don't know why you can't see it. Um, it is at 9.7 amps. This is going in the red boat. The sticker's kind of coming off on me, but I guess that doesn't really matter. So that's gonna do it for the Lee Time dual bank charger. Love the dual voltage. So there's a lot of options out there, but this one hits a really nice price point. I'll put some links down in the description. 43.8, 14.6 volts, going down to one charger. Super pumped about that. If there's interest in an install video on my boat, I can certainly do that. Like and subscribe to the channel if you're finding some value here, and we'll see you on the next one.